Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and gas time once again, and um, and once again, there's gonna be a, there's gonna be a bunch of moving parts on this one, so, just get ready for some mistakes to be made, um, but, but anyway, yeah, let me, um, uh, let me go ahead and move along here, um, this one here is gonna be Corneus, um, uh, Grouse, Grouse Um Kit, it's a split tape LP, uh, came out, apparently came out in 2000, uh, raw black metal ambient, um, and this just and this uh this just got uploaded today, so it's new yet not new. And uh, and I haven't uh I've only heard like maybe the first few minutes of this, um, just in kind of a hurry to get some kind of music going, because uh, again the the stuff that I originally wanted to play was uh, actually copyrighted so I gotta hope that uh I gotta hope that this stuff isn't but I it it's dungeon synth and raw black metal so I can't really see it. So. Uh but anyway, um uh one thing I did yesterday I decided to just go ahead and do a whole pinball stream. It's the, usually uh Usually, uh, I only do pinball like an hour or two, or no, maybe like an hour at the most, I should say, like on the tail end of a stream, but, um, uh, this, this time around, I just wanted to go ahead and, like, do a full-blown one. Kind of, kind of like, kind of like I used, kind of like I used to do way back in the day. Sound checking right now. Something I forgot to do earlier. But yeah, this. Hang a second. But yeah, this music kind of sound. It sounds like it's uh, it's inten it's intentionally lo-fi. Like I can I can kind of hear the music in the background, but it's like really really muffled. At some at some point after at some point after doing that pinball stream, um, fired up I fired up some Killer Instinct, uh, just I uh, played a I played a little bit of Hisako, but not a whole lot. Uh, but also something I, another character I started playing recently, uh, Saber Wolf. In fact, let me uh let me go ahead and go into the game and show you. And I have a, I've got a lot of windows here, so let me, let me clear one of them out at least. All right. So yeah. Go on retro here. Just. Picking somebody at random because it don't matter. Oh. Yeah. It, yeah. This music just—it sounds like it's uh intentionally lo-fi. It sounds like he's just uh growling into a into a can or something. But um, one of the biggest reasons why I'm trying this guy out is uh, I mean he's got a lot of uh, yeah, a lot of back forward type attacks, and um, and these moves they're not even they're not even charge moves. Like I can go. Because in most, 
in most other games, um, most other games that have charge motions, you you actually do have to hold back and charge for at least one second. See, I'm doing a I'm doing the run ability there. But not in this game. You can just go back forward, and he does it. should also be noted here too I've got combo assist turned off so and Neil so so yeah, like I said, it's this one, this guy here has a lot. Most of his move, no, I think all of his moves are all back forward. And unlike most other games that have charge motions, this one isn't. Just simple back forward, back forward. And, uh, but one of the reasons why I am going with this guy here is because um, just I'm getting uh, I'm starting to get frustrated with uh, characters that have uh, quarter circle and sometimes even half circle motions. And in and in fact, uh, as you can probably see in these uh, few times that I jumped, they weren't intentional. So so yeah, um, I had the same problem when playing um. Playing a Guilty Gear Rev 2. You know, I'm trying to do a half, you know, I'm trying to do a half circle back, but I end up jumping backwards instead. So I think it's a, I think it's a controller issue. And yes, uh, I'm also trying to use my, uh, my D-pad as well. And, um, the results aren't all, aren't really a whole lot better. So that's why I went with, uh, Saber Wolf here. Back forward. And again, I'm not jumping. It's the controller doing that. Oh, and then there's that as well. This is probably the only one I'm going to have a problem with. He also has a down up. But all I'm doing there, uh, back forward square, the light attack. go ahead and turn my dummy on and then just kind of spar a little bit Six percent damage. Oh. 
Nope. Wrong one. But um, but yeah, it looks like I'll probably be playing this this guy fairly often too. And Saber Wolf can perform additional auto doubles. Let's make sure that okay. When the same. So then there's this. So oh 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 oh. oh. So, so yeah, you can, I can just keep it, same button over and over and over. Now, now before anybody, now before anybody says, oh wow, man, he could be, so you could like spam one button and you, it'd be like easy win. Nope. Again, especially if I'm playing a human opponent. Okay, so all it takes to break a combo is to just push up. Push either light punch and light kick, medium punch, medium kick, or heavy punch and heavy kick, depending on depending on what kind of combo I'm doing to you at that moment. So if all I'm doing is just doing nothing but medium attacks on you, you can easily counter me. Just push medium punch, medium kick. So so you can't so you can't be too sloppy when playing this guy. But anyway, um, I'll probably be playing this guy more often. Um, I still want to play Hisako, but because like I like I said, she's she's the main reason why I started playing this game. So, so let me go ahead and bail out of that. Yeah, I, I was originally gonna. I was gonna, I was gonna show this, but I figure what the hell, I might as well turn the game on. But since I'm here, but again, as you could, I'm hoping you could see this. I'm hoping you can see this clear enough. But yeah, like, okay, so, but yeah, like back forward, back forward, down up. So nothing too complicated about this. walk speed want to abuse the best normal in the game but uh I haven't read too heavily into this so and once again I forgot to do something hold on You know, and I'm pretty sure that it, this is this is meant to be a guy actually going, burr, burr, you know, you know, actually singing. But no, it sounds like a damn dog barking. Actually, you know, what am I thinking here? No, this came out in 2000. So yeah, this this might very well be legit. I totally forgot that. I totally forgot. It it technically came out in 2000, but it was uploaded yesterday. I I kept thinking that the album was actually made yesterday. No, no. So, and then um, one other thing I, I wanted to bring up. But 
after I played some Killer Instinct, um, I totally forgot I had this. But, uh, um, it's called Tales from the Tour Bus. And there's like two seasons of it. One was country music and the other one was funk. Uh, it was done by a guy named Mike Judge. He was the, um, he was the creator of, uh, he was all the same guy that created Beavis and Butthead. But yeah, he, it's, it was like, I totally forgotten how awesome it was to watch though. It's, I mean, it, it's really hard to explain, but he, I think, uh, he brought in actual people, like the people that, that are still alive today, that uh, were around back then for, you know, Johnny Cash and Waylon Jennings and all that. Um, and he basically did a technique called rotoscoping. Just, he would do the inter, he would do the interview with him like normal. And then after that, he would draw anime, he would um, draw animation or he would, each frame of animation would be drawn would be drawn over so it all it basically it looks like a it looks like a an episode of Beavis and Butthead with that kind of drawing and animation style but uh like but like I said he would uh he would interview these old legends that are that were around back then and then um he would just draw anime he would draw basically draw cartoons over them so I, I thought that was pretty damn cool not to mention um you're getting one hell of a history lesson too. And I think of some uh, Mike Judge said on the very, very first episode, uh, Johnny Paycheck. You know, all this all the shit you hear in gangster rap, you know, just shooting cops like no big deal, you know, rolling you know, rolling around in Bentleys with the you know, rap music You know, and you know, smoke smoking blunts, doing drugs, selling drugs and all that, killing people, you know. Shooting niggas in the face like it wasn't no thing, you know that kind of stuff. These these old outlaw country, you know, country musician guys, they've been doing this kind of thing long before rap. So, but yeah, Mike Judge was saying this was that was one of the first things he said. I mean, these guys are the the OGs of OGs. These guys are the original gangsters. So, but um, I have I have watched the I have watched this once before. Like, I want to say like a couple of years ago. But yeah, probably like a, like a couple of years ago. But I think um, what had happened is uh, I went on went on my YouTube, checked out my movies. Um, one of the things that I saw was Tales from the Tour Bus. Um, looked it up. I'm like, I could have sworn I paid for these. But yeah, it gave me a purchase option. I'm like, uh, no, I you know I paid for these and then. Eventually it like eventually it dawned on me that no I I bought them on Amazon not YouTube so Bit of a goof there So yeah, um probably uh after this cast I'll probably just keep on watching this but um This is probably one of very few uh very few modern day shows that I actually, that I truly enjoy watching. Tales from the Tour Bus. Whereas most other shows, it just, at best, it goes in one eye and out the other. You know, I, it, from what little I've seen of, uh, of the Marvel Universe, you know, those, you know, you know a show is pretty damn bad when I can't even watch the Cinema Sins version of it. So yeah, I, I've tried that with, yeah, I've tried watching uh, some of the Marvel shows or on that YouTube channel, CinemaSins. I can't even watch that version. A few minutes, that's like, oh my God, this, this stuff sucks. So. Okay, so. Um, alrighty. Um, I'll just, I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. I'm sorry, kind of abrupt, but the music is actually really starting to grate on me. And like I said, it, it, I think, despite the fact that, yeah, hang on, I'm thinking here. Despite the fact that this music came out in 2000, I still have my suspicions. Like, it was an intentionally made ghetto, like, you know, they muffled the sounds and all that. It, it just, it's kind of like what, uh, 
with some of the buildings I've seen over the years when they uh there's an actual there's an actual paint color called rust or something like that it's you know it's to give your it's to give your building or I think some some instruments are like this as well you can uh, use rust paint to make them look to make them look worn out like you know I like you know that kind of thing it's just like totally fake you know, trying to make it look like a building's been up for many years when really it's probably only been built like a year ago. Some of this music kind of sounds like that. To make it, you know, to make it sound like it's been recorded in their mom's basement when really it probably hasn't. It probably went down to a damn actual full-fledged recording studio and just made it that way. So, but anyway, yeah, this is this is one of the few uh, one of the few black metal albums that's that I really hard to listen to really hard on the ears so um but but otherwise yeah I pretty much said all the things that I wanted to say this morning anyway so I'll just go ahead and call it good um but thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me everybody always appreciate it and um this will be my last cast for the week so my work week um has started up so Wednesday Thursday and Friday are my work nights so you Probably won't be hearing from me again until Sunday morning. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now. <laughs>